Hello, dear students. Welcome to your English lesson. Today's lesson is for Grade 7 and the topic is Waste Disposal, Part 1, which logically means that there will also be Part 2 in the next lesson. I am Ksenia Rumora, your English teacher today. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to create a digital mind map to show how you and your family dispose home waste. For today's lesson, you'll need the usual things. A notebook and a pencil, a device with internet connection, which means a tablet, a laptop or a smartphone, and a QR code scanner. Please bear in mind that you can stop this video lesson anytime you want so that you can work at your own pace. Have you got everything needed? Yes? So let's begin then. In today's lesson, we shall do different things, so we'll start with some brainstorming, then we shall discuss types of waste, the colors of the bins, we shall decide between recyclable and non-recyclable waste, definitely talk about five R's of waste management, then you will create the digital mind map, you will also play some game, and at the end of today's lesson, you'll do the checklist. Let's start with some brainstorming. Please observe this photo and brainstorm the words you associate with it. They are all synonyms, which means that they have the same meaning. The first and the last letter in each of these words are here to help you. Pause this video lesson and write the words into your notebooks, please. I hope that it wasn't too difficult and that you have come up with rubbish, trash, garbage, waste and dump. Well done! There are five types of waste. Do you know which? There are some synonyms to help you name five types of waste. So, the synonyms are firm, watery or fluid, substantial, touchable or material, reusable and threatening, jeopardizing or dangerous. Please pause this video lesson and try to do the matching into your notebooks, please. Did you manage? So let's check. Firm solid, watery or fluid, liquid, substantial, touchable or material, organic, reusable or recyclable, and threatening, jeopardizing or dangerous, hazardous. Good job! So, now when you know all five types of waste, let's talk in some more detail about them. What would belong to solid rubbish? What do you think? Yes, paper or card waste. Well done! What else would belong to solid rubbish? Yes, tin and metals. Good job! Anything else? Observe the 
pictures, please. Yes, glass and ceramics. Good job. When talking about liquid waste, which we can find in households and industries, there are different kinds of water. Which ones? Of course, dirty water, wash water and rain water. Well done! What would belong to organic waste? What do you think? Of course, all food waste, garden waste, but also manure, which is actually solid waste from animals, especially horses, also called dung, and that is used to spread on the land in order to make plants grow well. And what about recyclable rubbish or waste items you can convert into products and use again? What can we recycle? Well, solid items like paper, metal or furniture and organic waste. Good job! And why do we say that hazardous waste or toxic rubbish is dangerous. Of course, because it can harm you and the environment. Well done! In this activity, based on the picture, write down in your notebook six major types of recyclable waste. Please observe the picture very carefully and write down in your notebook. Now, when you have them in your notebooks, please read a part of the text, five major types of recyclable waste and find two faced items for each category in the table, which means Two waste items for kitchen waste, two for paper, two for plastic, two for glass, two for metal and two for other waste. For this activity, you will need to copy the link bit.ly slash waste5 into the browser. What can you see here? Actually, you can see the bins, waste bins. They are all of the same size, but they are of different colors. What about them? What do the bin colors stand for? The pairs are mixed up. Your task is to match the color from the left side with the item on the right side. Please do it in your notebooks. Here are your answers. I hope that your answers are all correct. So, brown bin is for kitchen waste, blue bin for paper, orange or yellow bin for plastic, green bin for glass, brown or grey bin for metal and dark red for other waste. I have put down brown or grey because the colours are different in different countries. For example, in Croatia we have grey bins for disposing metal and in other European countries they have brown bins for that. And now, something completely different. Let's play a game. Please copy the link bit.ly slash waste7 in your browser and enjoy the game. I would like you now to copy the link bit.ly slash waste6 into your browser and look at the list of non-recyclable waste items. 
The list is not short, but it is not going to be too long for you, you will see. Your task is to write down six items that you and your family regularly use and dispose. Possible items in your answers are garbage, food waste, polystyrene, styrofoam, plastic wrap, foam egg cartons, food tainted, which means contaminated or polluted items as used paper plates or used boxes, paper towels and paper napkins. And have you ever heard of the five R's? What do these five R's stand for and how are they connected to the waste management? Think about it for a while. You can see five R's on the screen. And what do they stand for? Here are some hints to help you. For the first one, make smaller. For the second one, say no. For the third one, use again. For the fourth one, return to normal state of health. And the fifth one, convert into reusable material. Well, think about them, pause this video lesson and write the five R's of waste management into your notebooks, please. So, let's check. They are reduce, refuse, reuse, recover, and finally, recycle. Well done! What about you? How do you dispose your home waste? Which bin do you put different waste items into? Name the waste items and categorize them. To do that, to show your answers, use the digital mind map. Use Kogel, the tool, to do it. In the left up corner, you can see the link. Please copy it into browser and try to be very creative. I am 100% sure that you are going to be much more creative than I was while creating this one. So, we have come almost to the end of today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed it and I certainly do hope that you have learned to name different types of waste, to name recyclable waste, and bin colours, as well as the waste you dispose in them. And that's the end of today's lesson. Until we meet again, stay safe and sound, and bye-bye!